Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss another network protocol, SSL. And the example in this video, we are going to build a simple SSL client. So, SSL stands for the Secure Socket Layer. So SSL is part of a transport layer security. So SSL are cryptographic protocols designed to provide communications security over a computer network. So this TSL protocol aims primarily to provide privacy and the data integrity between two or more communicating computer applications. So the, in short word, SSL is aimed for mainly is for design the application between the two or more computer communicating communications. So here on the uh, Linux, we're using the Qt creator to create a simple C++, plain C++ application. So we are going to design our client doing the taking four parameters. So host, the part, certificate file, and the message we are going to send the server. So starting for the SL, we starting create as a class called the SSL client. This class we take one of a constructor which take a four parameters, this is IO context, SSL context, and the endpoint. Endpoint is the resolver of the server and the host, and the message we are going to send to the server. And uh, this client has a three member. One is the sending buffer, which is the memory buffer for sending message, and the receiving buffer, which is a memory for receiving from server and the SL socket. And uh, so for the implementation state part, so during the constructor, first we instantialize the socket with IO context and the SL context. And when we set with memory setting, our two buffer is sending buffer and the receiving buffer and we copy the message to the sending buffer, which we are going to send to the server. And we set up the security model, socket security model, using the ASO SSL verify peer. There's a few options and we can use. And we also set up the verify certificate function called verify callback. This function is being used during the handshake between the server and the client. So we are going to verify with X59 certificate, X509 certificate. So after we there, we call in the start method with endpoint. So when the start method is triggered and with endpoint, what we go in with the first step is going to the connect to the server. So using the boost ASIO, a sinker connect. This uh, function needs uh, two, uh, three parameters. First is the socket. SSL is a low layer socket. So we go into the SSL socket, low layer, and the uh, endpoint, which is the server host and the part, and the function we are going to handling connections. And uh, for the function handling connection, so if there's an error, we just print out the connection field. If there's no error, means the connection success. Then the second step, we're going to do the handshake. So handshake, the type of handshake is client. So in the server side, handshake, this is going to be the server. And the function for handling the handshake is a handle handshake. And the for the handle handshake functions. So if there's error, we just print out handshake field. 
if there's no error, we're going to do, we're going to write the message to the server. The message is in the sending buffer during the con uh, construct uh, uh, time. We already copy to the buffer and we got the lines. We write into the socket and the buffer and the function for handling is called the handle write. So the handle write function to do, if there's an error, we just uh, print out the error message. If there's no error, it means uh, writing server success. So step four, we're going to a single read from the socket, from the server, to read the server respond back. So the parameter first is the socket, the second is the buffer, buffer is going to the buffer is going to receiving buffer. It's, uh, so when we write in, we're going to send is sending buffer. And when we go into the read, read into the receiving buffer. So handling the reading function of method is called a handle read. So it's a handle read in the handle read function. What we do, if there's no error, it's a it's read from the server success, and we just print out my, our receiving buffer. Otherwise, we print out the error messages. So in, in the main side, first we verify the parameter. If not a five, because it's a one, two, three, four, plus this is going to be the five argument. So if there's no five, we just uh, get out. So the five parameter after verified, we're going to try the first is the instantialized IO context. It's a boost ASIO IO context. And the second step, we're going to resolve the host and the part number. So we go into the instantialize the resolver, TCP resolver, and then we got the endpoint, resolve the arg argument one is the host, argument two is the part numbers. And the step three is to instantialize the SSL context, which uses the boost SIO SSL context, and uh, we are going to use in the version SSL v23. There's a few options. You can use SSL v2, v3, or v23 because our server is uh, set up using the SSL v23. So we are going to use the v23 and we load our certificate file, which is argument three, is the certificate PM files. And then we start our SSL client and pass the IO context, SL context, endpoint, and the message going to send to server. And then we starting wrong our threading, which called the IO context wrong, it's running. And after that, we just exit. So this is very simple, SSL client. So let's make it, build this. Okay. Here I have two terminals. So this part is the server part. So I have a simple SL server, and this server when you're running, take a argument part number, private key files, certificate key files. So we're going to have one the private key file called the server dot key. And uh, we have another certificate file called the server.pm. To generate the, this file, we can use command called the open SSL. And using this command, we cut the encrypt protocol is x509 SSA256 and RSA2048. And uh, we generate two files. The key file is called the server dot key, and the certificate file called server dot pm. So this is the way we generate the server private key and the server certificate. And uh, we in in the client side, 
we have to ha pass this uh, certificate to the s client side so we can so we can in this two file with the server permit server pm and the client pm these two files during the handshake where exchange certificate if success we can continue so now let's first start a server so the server should be says uh, first is a partner we give the part number one two three four and the private keys SERVER dot key and the certificate is SERVER dot PM so now we start a server and at the client side so what we're going to command is uh, going to be the first is the host so we're going to 127 dot zero dot zero dot one the part number is one two three four and the permit is a client pm file and the message we are going to send to server ssl one so let's hide so you can see our client send to this uh, host this partner because our server the message we send is this is a test SSL message one so server receives the message this is a test SSL message one and so this equal server so the reply back this is a test SSL message one so our client print out the server replied back Hello, this is uh, Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopeful this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.